Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a Panzerkampfwagen 7, the tier 10 uh, German heavy tank. It's located on the north spawn of Ensk and it's under the command of Arpenheimer. Game started. Well, this tank has a 128mm gun. It's capable of 560 alpha and. Well, you can see it's got standard AP, APCR, and HE. We've got 700 alpha off that. And it's got, well, basically no front plate weakness on this vehicle because it's basically built for side scraping because it's rear turreted. In fact, actually, there are very few weak points that you can go for. <laughs> and uh, that T-54E1 is in a whole world of trouble. He's got ram damage. Going to try and squeeze him in and put another round into him. Oh, he's dead already. Centurion 5-1 got the shot on him. Oh, <laughs> T-25. He just punched straight through the turret on that one. No respect from that 128mm uh, gun. And that, that uh, T-69, he's trying to run away. Just took around in his side. 508 hit points. Now he's just going to side scrape on him here and finish him off if he can. Quite a long reload though. Well, you'd expect that because of the 128mm. It is a big caliber shell. Trying to go for the Centurion through that gap. Nope, didn't work. But he should be able to get the Centurion 7 1 if he stays where he is. But he's not, because he's going to run away. Oh, took around from the t pilot. Through the side. Now, ISU puts around into it. Oh, he's got a fire! He's got a fire! And he bounced around in return from the ISU, which was the standard AP round. Now, ice T-69 and the Defender. T-69's watching him, but the Defender's not. And he's finished off the T-69. Took a tracking round from the EPR. Now, will that defender realise what's actually alongside him? He's about to get shot in the ass by a Panzerkampfwagen 7. Actually, he's going to shoot through the metal tanks, I think. Now, oh, is he going to drive out? Well, the defender's pulling back. Here he goes. Bang! Right into his side. 504 hit points. Now I think he realises what's the other side of those tanks. But he's got another tank in front of him. And oh, the defender managed to get a round through him. But now he's going to be ended. Yep, he's out back in the garage. One through the lower plate. He's over. Now, E100 ahead of us. He's 100% health. But it looks like he's AFK. Or is he? Well, he is looking at us. So he isn't AFK. And we find one through his weak lower plate. Course, this tank doesn't really suffer a weak lower plate or an upper plate for that matter because basically it's the engine that's at the front not the uh, crew and another one into the 100 bounced around in return now the ISU is trying for another shot but we're gonna angle and he's gonna fail to get through and he pulls back wisely just in time to avoid the return shot but unfortunately for him Yep, Oppenheimer's moving into position so we can still get a shot on him. Oh, Griller 15, thank you. I love that. <laughs> if you will park in front of me, I will shoot you. Okay, he's going to side scrape on the E100. Here we go. Took a round from the E100 in the tracks, but he put one into him for 525. He's not quite a one-shot yet, but he is getting close. Now, they've dealt with the ISU, so he doesn't need to worry about that anymore. It's just this E100 and an UDES off to the left, I think. Okay, the E100 is hiding his lower plate, but he's not hiding his cheeks. And he did manage to get around through us on that occasion. I think he must have been aiming for the side. Yes, he did get it there. You can see that cheeks area. That's the way to go for Don't aim for the boxes. On the turret, that's not a weak spot. And the RT has a go as well and picks up some hit points, but the E100 is gone. We fire one into the Udes. And we're pushing now. 
There's only five enemies left. 7k of damage already. Now, which ones do you go for? The LTTB or the Udez? I think the Udez first, because he's engaged with somebody else. And, oh, he's killed before we can get the shot in. The EBR 100 got him. And that, oh, 100, 105. And he's just doing spins and cartwheels, because now he's going to go off and kill that LTTB. And, oh, there's the enemy, Artie. Thank you. We'll have you. Oh, we didn't get him. We did not get him. How did that happen? Well, unfortunately, their RT was killed by our RT, <laughs> which means we don't get that, but we do get the honor of taking out the LTTB, who just finished our EBR 105. So we just drive straight through these buildings so they're not any protection for the LTTB. He's using the rep for cover, but I'm sorry, it's not going to protect you. It's not. Thank you. And now there's two enemies remaining, the IS-4 and the E-75. Well, the IS-4, if I remember correctly, that is a tier 10. And the E-75 is tier 9. So, we've got half our hit points remaining. The IS-4 has still got most of his hit points, actually. He must have been doing fairly well. Survived this long. We're going after the IS-4. Oh, he's in that gap area. Right, okay, here we go. Centurion goes through one side. Oh, no, he wants to go through the same side we want to go through. Uh, we're going to change sides. We're going to go this path. There's the E-75. He's gone. Drove straight in front of us. And, well, Centurion made a big mistake going after the IS-4. And he's now going to try and face hug us. Well, he's lost out because he got hit. Go for the observation port. Yep. One through that. 564. He's now one shot. All we have to do is push him back. Keep him pushed into the corner and finish him off. One more. And through the side. Oh, no. Through the observation. No! We didn't get it through! <laughs> and the kill goes to the Tiger too, Who sneaked in. No, don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. You lose your high caliber. <laughs> oh dear, I think Arpenheimer wanted that last kill. He wanted his top gun. Oh dear, let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's an ace tanker for Arpenheimer in the Panzerkampfwagen 7. He managed to get out of the mind. <laughs> let's look at this. He picked up a, a fire perfect, a, a, a fighter badge, a sh fighter badge, <laughs> sorry, a sharpshooter, a shell proof. Yep, get it right. That's better. Uh, a spotter badge for spotting at least a thousand hit points of damage. I can't read these correctly. Uh, a master gunner, a duelist, a hand of God, and a bruiser medal. Out of the epic medals, he picked up a high caliber. He would have lost that if he'd shot that tiger too. And he also got a steel wall for blocking the most damage in the battle and a confederate for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. And his win for that game was 10,822. Very high indeed. So let's have a look at the uh, team scores. There you go, right at the top of the table, 7,979 hit points of damage. The next high score was that gorilla, who for some unforeseen reason, I don't understand why, he parked in front of uh, Oppenheimer when he was loaded, and Oppenheimer just said, thank you very much, and bang, he was out of the game. And that guy picked up a tank sniper during that game, 4204, wow. And the next high score after that was the E75, again, just drove straight in front of Oppenheimer when he was loaded, and, of course, he took that opportunity as well. Um, so, <laughs> very nice. Let's have a look at the, team score, uh, the, um, the kills. Well, highest number of kills goes to Oppenheimer with five. Just one shot again in that top gun. I can understand why he was a miffed. They didn't get to kill that IS-4. It would have been nice if he had got to kill that, had getting a top gun as well. Uh, but, no, on this occasion, the Tiger II had other wise, other th thoughts in mind. He picked up a Spartan medal, by the way, and he was quite a good uh, score overall. But uh, yes, he did steal that last kill to get two kills, whereas uh, the IS-4 had four, three kills already, actually. Um, picking up that Centurion who barged past us when we were trying to go down the channel. I think if uh, if he hadn't barged past us and had gone down the other channel, he would have killed the, um, the E-75 and we would have killed the IS-4 in the end. But uh, there you go. Uh, so... 
Three kills there. Let's have a look at base XP. 1,396. That's a very good ace tanker for the Panzer Kampf Uh 954 for the Tiger II. 867 for the T28. He fired 20 rounds. He got 17 direct hits. 16 penetrations. Damage of 7,979 hit points. All of it at close range. He received 20 hits from the enemy. Only 3 were penetrations. 14 non-penetrations. And 3 hits as a result of splash damage from the enemy RT. Uh, and from other tanks firing HE. He blocked damage of 4,210 hit points in total. It's a huge amount. And spotted 1 enemy vehicle. Damaged 11 of the enemy. Killed 5 of them. And did spotting assistance of 1,530 hit points. On a premium account, he earned 107,790 credits, and after repair, ammunition resupply, and consumables, this is the kicker, he actually made a loss, a tiny loss, 10,727. Now, you might say that's not tiny. Well, it is compared to some of the other losses that he's taken in some of the other games. If you have a look at those, you might see he's actually made losses in some games as much as 80,000 credits. But again, he doesn't worry about that because he takes a part in a lot of clan wars and he earns a huge amount of credits from that, so he doesn't care. Um, for rewards, he picked up six bonds from that game and he also picked up 4,188 experience points from that gap battle. So an 8k damage battle, 10.8k on the win 8 as well, a huge haul of medals. Uh, yeah, very, very nice indeed. And it just goes to show how tough the Panzerkampf Wagen really is. If you enjoyed that replay, please give it a like. Do subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you get alerted. As soon as we put a new video up, we do put a lot of them up every day. You're bound to find something that suits you. And uh, well, thanks for watching.